The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Andrew Rogers here on the Eagles Sports Network with new interim women's golf coach Kathy Dugan. Kathy, uh, first off, congratulations on joining the staff. Uh, how excited are you to be able to work with these girls this spring? Very excited. Uh, I've had an opportunity to uh, do two nine-hole practice rounds with them. Everybody's very interesting, and uh, I think uh, the, uh, the sky's the limit for us. You've got a lot of LPGA Tour experience, I think 10 years or so professionally, uh, a golf instructor now after your playing days, even though you probably still play, but not at the professional level. Uh, but how can all of that experience help this, this team and this group of girls that is a very experienced team that's played a lot of golf as well? I think the most important thing about any kind of competitive golf is to learn that you are not a machine and you have to keep your head regardless of how well you're playing. If you play great or if you're really stumbling around, you can always come back from where, whatever situation you're in. So that's probably the biggest thing I've learned from competition. And also that everybody else is facing the same problems I am. So don't get too flustered over. If it's pouring down rain, they're not in the sunshine if they're you know playing the same golf course. So, what moment along your career allowed you to realize you know golf is very mental and that you know maybe one or two bad holes won't entirely uh, mess up your round week per se? But how? What point did you realize that? And how do you hope to get that to translate to this team? I think the point at which I learned that uh, you can't lose your you're cool is every minute of every day on the golf tour <laughs> every round I ever played um, the way to get that across the people I think is to just uh, people are different okay mm -hmm. some people are very emotional and you can't try to put them in the non-emotional box you just have to kind of let them be but they also need to learn how to harness their emotions and use them f to benefit Mm -hmm. their game because you who you are using your emotions properly will benefit you you just you don't want to get stuck in a box you don't believe in I mean you don't belong in I mentioned that you've been a golf instructor around the area you've coached and, and instructed golfers all across the country uh, what will be the biggest uh, challenge for you now dealing with a specific team and about 10 golfers on this team that you can use uh, from your instructing days and know how to help others but now to focus it on this team well, I think the challenge in coaching is to see each person as an individual. So um, when I taught golf, um, it was more technical stuff. You know, you're swinging that. It wasn't coaching. Coaching is, I think, a bigger, bigger circle. Mm -hmm. You know, it's you're doing more than just technically the, the women have golf professionals and they're actually fabulous people. Randy Wiley and his father, John, are tremendous teachers. And I think some of the uh, women have their own coaches at home, too. They're, they're uh, golf coaches. I mean, professional, mm -hmm. you know, on the swing. So um, you don't want to step on that. Uh, that's a bit of a challenge because you can't, if they're doing apples, you don't want to teach them oranges. You know, you got to keep with whatever their professional is telling them to do. And then the rest of it is just pay attention to who they are, how they relate, to um, the trials and tribulations of a golf course and, mm -hmm. and help them to harness their strengths and uh, do the best they can. Have fun this spring and enjoy it. Thank you. She's Kathy Dugan. I'm Andrew Rogers for the Eagle Sports Network.